Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ling Chen. If you are new, I am a Singaporean working in the US. I graduated from Cornell Johnson last year after coming to the US to study my MBA and I have been working in Seattle for the past one year as a financial analyst uh, in tech. One year ago, I did a video about studying in the US versus studying in Singapore and now that I have worked for one full year in the US, I thought it would be interesting for me to do a similar comparison video about working in the US versus working in Singapore. What are some of the key differences, particularly in the area of workplace culture and norms? Both companies that I've worked for in Singapore and the US are Fortune 500 companies, so I thought there is at least a reasonably fair comparison of my experiences. And of course, I want to emphasize that what I'm sharing is purely based on my personal experiences and it may differ for other people. The first difference is your relationship with your manager. In Singapore, being in an Asian culture, workplace is still relatively hierarchical. So it's pretty rare for people to maintain a casual and personal relationship with their direct manager at work. There is always an element of intimidation when speaking with your direct manager at the workplace, especially if they are a lot more senior than you. So it's pretty rare that your direct manager is your lunch buddy or your hangout person at workplace. In the US, it's pretty much the opposite, whereby people normally maintain a pretty casual relationship with their uh, direct managers like friends, I have not yet met a manager in the US who view themselves as a person of higher hierarchy uh, as compared to their subordinates and everyone maintain a really casual and personal relationship at the workplace just like friends. Honestly, I really enjoy this type of relationship with my manager. It makes uh, work life a lot less stressful. I can feel comfortable to speak up my mind and uh, just discuss uh, what I want a bit uh, work-related or personal related The second difference is how colleagues bond with one another after work and this is kind of related to the first topic. Uh, both in Singapore and the US, we have a fair share of opportunity to bond with colleagues, be it casual drinks, happy hours or company activities. However, in Singapore, we normally hang out with colleagues within our same level of hierarchy. Let's say during um, happy hours at company events, normally the more junior employees will uh, hang out in one table and the senior managers will be at another table. It's sometimes pretty awkward and stressful to hang out with um, senior managers outside of work because honestly, there really isn't too much things to chat about uh, on a personal level. However, in the US, hierarchies are pretty flat Especially within the teams, managers and junior employees hang out with uh, one another after work, like friends, and we can chat about anything we want, be it sports, family, kids, or other related uh, personal topics. Hierarchy and seniority is rarely seen outside of the workplace. The third difference is the type of conversations that we have with our colleagues during or after work. In the Singapore workplace, people are usually more work-oriented. So the type of conversations that we have with our colleagues are almost always related to work or workplace uh, related topics. However, in the US, most colleagues that I have met are extremely family oriented. As a result, conversations are more skewed towards families, kids, dogs, what activities they are planning to do after work with their families and where they are planning to take their kids to over the weekends. This is actually a little bit of a surprise for me coming to the US because I was under the impression that Singaporeans are pretty family oriented. However, coming here, I realized that Americans are far more family oriented and everything is about the family. And it's quite heartwarming to engage in such conversations sometimes. The fourth difference is the way emails are written. In Singapore, emails are normally pretty straight to the point, be it internal or external emails. We start off the email by addressing the recipient and go straight to the point on explaining why we are writing the email today. For example, Hi Mr. Michael, I'm writing to request for the following documents. However, in the US, writing email that way can be considered as rude 
it's an ethical and a norm to start off an email with proper greetings and relationship building, especially if you're writing to someone who you don't talk to on a daily basis. It is very common to start off an email with hi so and so, hope you are doing well and had a great weekend. And sometimes even go one to two sentences further to make the reader feel good before jumping to the topic. This is even more apparent if you're writing to external stakeholders. It is very common for the entire first paragraph to be filled with greetings, praises, asking how they are doing, so as to build the relationship and rapport before even jumping to the main topic. The last difference is lunch break. Singaporeans are very big on food, so for us, lunch break is an important part of the workday and we treat it very seriously. In Singapore, usually we want to find good quality food for lunch in order to recharge in the midday and usually we will walk or drive out to different places to find delicious quality food that we have been craving for days and the lunch break can take up to one to one and a half hours. However, in the US, lunch break is virtually non-existent. It's just not that big of a priority for the people here and usually people will go through the minimal effort just to put something into their mouths. A very common lunch here is a salad bowl where people can quickly grab from the office cafeteria and finish it within 10 minutes or just eat while continue uh, doing their work. I feel that there are pros and cons in both type of lunch break styles and of course in the US not having a proper lunch break means that you can most likely finish your work earlier and go back to your families. But for me, coming from Singapore, food is really important for me, so I still take my lunch break very seriously. Here's all I have to share for today. Let me know in the comments what's your experiences working across different countries and whether you share the same experience as I did. And as always, make sure to like, comment and subscribe as I will be making more videos going forward. I'll see you guys in the next one.